Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. Nathan sent me a note about a story in Pennsylvania that is an unusual one, which also will bring us to a topic that's been discussed on this channel previously, where the headline is, Woman Driving with Bad Brakes Sentenced for Killing a Pennsylvania Firefighter in a Crash. It's from PennLive.com by Sean Adams. A woman from New Jersey has received her prison sentence after pleading guilty to charges connected to a crash that killed a firefighter. So there is no trial because she has pleaded on this one. The Philadelphia Inquirer reports that the woman is 64 years old, was sentenced to between 12 and 24 years in state prison for driving her vehicle into one police officer and three firefighters, and that resulted in the death of a 48-year-old firefighter from Belmont Hills. Uh, she told investigators... She was lost trying to drive home the night of the crash and swerved onto the shoulder of the highway to avoid fire trucks that were responding to a previous vehicle accident on I-76. She said that she noticed the first responders that she collided with only at the last second. So she swerved and saw them too late, she says. She told investigators she had been previously pulled over three separate times by police from three different departments on that trip. So she was pulled over several times, and then she wound up in this crash. Prosecutors said her vehicle was in a serious state of disrepair, including faulty brakes, and her decision to continue driving it showed a disregard for the safety of others. ABC6 reports investigators said that she had been speeding before the accident, and that she admitted to knowing that three of the four brakes in her vehicle didn't work. I assume they mean the corners. So there's you know brake sets on each corner and that three of the four were not working. She pleaded guilty to charges of third degree murder, aggravated assault by vehicle and reckless endangerment. Now there's some parts of this story that sound like they say something else, but I, I, I say that we can't actually jump to some conclusions, but it says that she got pulled over three separate times by three different departments on that trip. We don't know what she was pulled over for because some people might say, well, she got pulled over for having bad brakes. Well, how would the police know that by simply watching her car drive by? Now, it could be that her car is such a piece of junk that it looked unroadworthy. That's possible. Or obviously, if she rolled through a stop sign or rolled through an intersection, uh, that might have been a clue to somebody. But it says that she got pulled over three separate times No matter what you're doing, if you get pulled over three times on one trip, you're doing something wrong. So I am curious to know what those three previous uh, stops were for. But you'll notice that she, of course, got charged. uh, And this is a very, very serious charge. And the allegation is that she hit these first responders and that presumably if she did better breaks, she wouldn't have. That, I think, is, is an implication that we can take from this. And that reminds us, of course, of the story about whether a shop can stop you from leaving if there's something wrong with your car. And this is a debate we've had many times on this channel. I did videos about it and so on. And there are people out there who tell me that, Steve, in my state, the law says that I, as a mechanic, can stop somebody from leaving and say, you are not allowed to leave legally. You are not allowed to leave because your brakes are no good. And I always say, show me the law that says that. And what happens is somebody sends me a story like this and said, there you go. And, and it, it doesn't say that here, okay? Obviously, if your vehicle is defective and the defects in your vehicle that you know about cause you to get in an accident and harm somebody, yeah, obviously that's on you. But that doesn't mean that a mechanic has the legal right to make the determination that your vehicle's not roadworthy when you drove it in and says you cannot drive it back out again. Now, I've had some people say, but Steve, the mechanic could call the police and the police could come in and look at the vehicle and go, oh, wait, three of the four corners don't work? That car's not roadworthy. The question then is, does a police officer have the right to tell you that you can't leave a shop with your vehicle? Now, There are some states where inspections are required, but I'm not talking about this happening at an inspection. I'm talking about somebody who says, hey, I think my brakes are wonky. Can you take a look at them? And you pull the car apart and you go, yeah, it turns out the three or four corners aren't working at all. You need a full brake job. It's going to cost you $10,000. 
I'm making up numbers here just to prove a point. You go, I don't want to pay $10,000 for a brake job. I'm going to take it down the street to a different brake place. I'm sorry, you can't leave. It's illegal for me to let you leave. And that's what people say. They go, they go I legally can't let that person leave. It's illegal for me to let you leave. You cannot leave. Show me the law that says that in your state that a mechanic has the right to make that call. So if you have it, great, great. I'll do another video. But the next question is when you say, no, I'm not going to let you leave because the car is all torn apart. Let's say someone calls the police and the police show up and the car is all torn apart. And they tell the police officer that car is not safe to drive. If we put it back together again the way it was, it's not safe to drive. Well, the police officer, what would he say? And what I presume he would say is, that vehicle, if unsafe to drive, cannot be driven off the lot. Because while it's on the lot, it's on private property, but if you drive it off the lot onto a public roadway, I could then ticket you for faulty equipment. Yes. But again, that's not the same as saying it's illegal for us to let you have your own car. So presumably... The person whose car it is could say, fine, put it back together again. I'll pay you for whatever that takes, because that's going to be a complaint some people have. I'll pay you to put it back together again, and I'll have it towed. Because that's the one thing everyone always skips. I've had people tell me, it's illegal for me to let you take your own car. What if I flat bet it out? What <laughs> Presumably, it's, it's not unsafe on the back of a flatbed, right? So that's the discussion that I knew was going to come on this, and that's the thing. So if you are in a state that actually has a law on the books that says a certified mechanic upon seeing a vehicle in his shop that is unsafe to drive and the owner of the car refuses to have the work done, then you are legally obligated to keep that car from leaving and to so inform the owners, and if necessary, phone the police who will back you up on this. And so I've heard all kinds of stories. People said, Steve, but I, I, I know this for a fact. The place I worked at, the owner told me this. Again, I, I don't know the owner of the shop you worked at. I, sorry, I don't know him. Uh, just find the law. Because if the law is on the books, you can find it online. It's really easy to look laws up. Uh, and I have people tell me, go, you know, well, it's, I'm sure it's out there. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> so is that purple unicorn. So this is a sad story. And, and I, I don't want to detract from that. But it's a good result because people have to understand, and there are people out there who don't understand how dangerous of an instrumentality a car can become. Uh, There's a whole raft of videos on the internet about police chases. If you ever get bored and you want to watch some fast action, go to YouTube and type in police chases, and you'll find more than you can shake a stick at. Some shot from helicopters, some shot from chasing cars. And the stuff that people do in cars trying to get away from the police is scary. And I saw one the other day where it looked like somebody's trying to run a police officer over. And when they finally got the guy, they were discussing what to charge him with. Somebody goes, uh, attempted murder? Like, yeah, the guy tried to run somebody over. And guess what? You run him over, you can kill him. There you go. So it is something that needs to be pointed out to people. And I've known people, I've known people who've had defective cars that had problems. And I remember when I was in high school. I knew kids who had cars, and they're like, oh, my car's making this really weird grinding noise when I slow down. Oh, when you hit the brakes? Yeah, there appears to be a correlation between the application of the brake pedal and this weird screeching noise. Yeah, you got bad brakes. Oh, I can't afford to have them fixed. Well, you need to speak to this woman here who's going away for up to 24 years, 12 to 24 years. So it's a wild story. Woman driving with bad brakes, sentenced for killing Pennsylvania firefighter in a crash. And remember, she was pulled over three times separately on that same trip. So I suspect that not only did she have a bad car, but she's also a horrible driver. From PenLive.com, Sean Adams wrote it. Nathan sent it. Thanks a lot. Questions, comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. What we have done for ourselves alone dies with us. What we have done for others in the world remains and is immortal.